what is going on world so I know a lot of people have kind of mentioned and talked about the website bang good I've heard a lot of reviews uh, many of them are crappy reviews talking about the customer service and this and that people weren't happy so I just want to do a quick realistic view this is 2018 you can see down here in the corner of my screen January 25th and I'm going to kind of share my personal experience with banggood.com which was also my first experience here are the details. You can see that I ordered a series of items, five total items from Banggood. I ordered a EV800D, a case for the Wizard X220S, because I figured I would be traveling around different places with it. Of course, ordered the drone, the Wizard X220S, and a couple of uh, 4S batteries to go along with it. So I made, I made this order. Order date was December 29th. Now, uh, give me a moment here. If you go through here, you can actually see some information. I will say that their use of tracking systems is is not the best At the same time i have to respect and understand it because heck they're shipping it halfway across the world halfway around the world so you know i actually got to a point where i had to email them to get more information but one thing i do know is that in here it would show me my the ship date so i basically was basing the time i was expecting to receive the item of january 1st 2018. you know they say that with the form of the delivery uh, priority airmail you can expect to get things within seven to 20 business days so pulling up the calendar from january 1st basically 20 business days would have been the 31st well on the 22nd i think it was i hadn't heard anything from bang good got emails uh december 30th uh signature order has been shipped out but then online it was showing that it wasn't shipped so i Again, I just really wasn't sure. But anyways, email. I'm thinking back to the people who I've, I've heard and seen um, with issues about bang good and, you know, they have have problems and, you know, they have complaints and say customer service is horrible. Uh, one of the things I have to keep in mind is honestly, I don't think that bang good, the bang good employees make a ton of money. All right. So so I have to keep that in mind and I have to respect that. The other thing that comes to mind is like they're not actually manufacturing this stuff. I imagine it's a huge warehouse where they've got a ton of items, literally tons of items. Um, so anyways, I went ahead and on the 22nd, I just sent a polite email. Hello, will you please update me about the status of the orders I have made through your company at the end of last year? My order numbers are listed below and then I listed the order numbers and put a thank you. I sent that on January 20th at 9.05 p.m. So on the 22nd, 1.03 a.m., basically they were like, dear Steve, thank you for your email about your orders. They gave me some different information and then they gave me a different link that I can use to track it. Uh, come to find out one of them were sent through DHL, et cetera, et cetera. But I was able to use that link. But I also want to point out that they put that they were sent on January 2nd, which like I said, I had the first in my email or whatever, but First, second, I'm fine with that. It's estimated delivery time is seven to 20 business days, not including holidays. So we had like MLK day, et cetera, et cetera. You know the rest. So anyways, could you please wait until then? To which I respond, hey, thanks for your email. Wait, I'm sorry, here's my response. Hey, thanks for your email response. I'm willing to wait until the end of that time window, which will be, and I counted it out and everything with the holidays and New Year's, blah, blah. January 31st, 2018, but I want to add, however, if I have not received all of the items by that date, I would like to kindly request a refund. Again, thank you for your time, and I hope that everything arrives by the 31st. Have a great day. So again, I think a lot of times the response that people get has a lot to do with the way that we open ourselves up to communicate. And then to which they respond, hey, Steve, thanks for your email. We're happy that you can wait a few more days. Um, hope that you receive them soon. So anyways, I received this email, and basically it, read, it reads as follows. Dear customer, Thank you for placing an order with us due to some uncontrollable reasons your order has been returned now uh would you like to be issued a full refund of this order or do you want us to resend the items which you brought um the item number reference was to the drone itself so or the wizard x220s so my response please issue a complete refund for the items ordered per the same method as the payment that i made thank you yeah, that's kind of left it at that well that was january 22nd so that was a couple days ago well, that was late January 22nd, so I'll give them a day and a half, two days ago. Anyways, I received another email today. Dear Steve Richardson, this is to notify you that we've refunded your account for your order and the 
2071 as the drone itself it may take up to 14 days, et cetera, et cetera. And then it sent it to and through my PayPal account. So of course I logged in and checked and there was the refund from paying good was in my PayPal account. So again, it took like a day, day and a half for them to actually give my money back to me. So again, I, that doesn't bother me. You know, I, when I ordered from Banggood, I knew that it was not Amazon Prime. I understood that I was not going to be getting this item in one or two days, you know. So I, I fully expected to wait there about a month, but it was good to hear back from them and be able to keep in touch. And again, this goes back to the way we communicate with people and I think it goes a long way. So I'm gonna put it up here for a while. I'll read it out loud. You can read it along with me, but you know, I start off again. Hello, first I would like to thank the customer service team at Banggood because I thought they did a great job. I was a bit hesitant to order from your company after reading a series of mixed reviews, which I'm sure if you're watching this review right now, you've probably seen some of the other reviews also. Hopefully you will look at this one and realize I'm not someone who just is completely working for Banggood or completely against Banggood. I'm just giving you a realistic account of my experience at the beginning of 2018. Anyways, moving forward. I went ahead and ordered with a complete understanding that delivery may take up to 20 business days from the date my items are shipped. Again, just reiterating what we had already discussed in the prior emails in case someone else was the person who was going to respond. I also would like to thank you all for the prompt return of refund uh, of funds to my PayPal account. However, all of the items that I ordered were relevant to the Wizard X220S drone that I also ordered. Since your company is unable to provide me with a drone, the other items are unfortunately useless to me. From the information I can gather online, it looks as if the other items are still in transit, but these, but these amounts have not been refunded. And, oh, still in transit because these amounts have not been refunded, I'm sorry, yeah. So if I could use the items, I wouldn't mind keeping them, but all of my other drones are from DJI, which they are and are not compatible with the other items, which I'm sure they know as well. So I went on to say, please let me know my options with these other items. I would prefer to refuse the delivery so they get sent back to you so I can get a full refund of the amount I paid. So far, my experience with Banggood has been a good experience, which is why I took the time to post a review on my YouTube page, which is what you're watching right now, to let others know the truth about Banggood and customer service there. And here's my review. Now, where those dots are uh, by the time I post this video or the video, yeah, by the time I post this video, I'll fill that in, then I'll actually hit send. Anyways, I look forward to hearing back from you soon and I hope we can find a way to solve this situation so we can continue to do business together in the future. Sincerely, Steve R. So a couple of things about the way we deliver messages or more importantly about the way we communicate. I can assure you, whether you're dealing with people across seas, people in the States, whatever it is, if you open up in a very defensive or, or aggressive or even a passive aggressive manner, I can assure you, you are going to get horrible feedback nine times out of 10. You figure somebody's been working hard. They may not make a ton. They may be having a long, crappy day. They've read through other emails from people pissed off and they're tired. Well, at least when they get to a message like mine, they can say, you know what, at least this is a person who respects my time and appears to have common sense if there were such thing. But anyways, like I said, I just wanted to give a, a breakdown of my experience with Banggood, getting back the majority of the money. So I think the total order was $407, was it? Maybe 407 and some change, something like that. Anyways, you know, I've, I've gotten the majority of my, my money back. These other items, if I get the option, I will refuse delivery. Actually, the Yishin EV800Ds, I am pretty sure those got delivered because I walked out the door the other morning, there was a package sitting there and based off the size of the package, all right? So I'm assuming this backpack is gonna be a bit bigger. Obviously they didn't send the wizard, the wizard, and you can see here that it's being refunded. And the batteries, I'm pretty sure those are gonna come in a tiny box, however they get here or whenever they get here. So I'm pretty sure that's what the item me and I is. I actually left it on my doorstep. So it's sitting outside, but we're in a neighborhood where it's not much of a concern in terms of somebody coming up on a porch and taking something. So my goal is hopefully that they'll come by, pick it back up, whoever dropped it off and send it back to where it came from. But again, I'll keep you posted. I'll let you know how they respond to my email. But here's the thing. If you're going to order from Banggood or any other companies, I guess, that are across the seas and you're over here in the States, like look at the details, know what you're getting into, know what to expect, know that there are some risks, things happen. 
right? You got to think about it. People get into accidents on their way to work and they're only driving an hour away. They may only be driving 10, 15 miles, 20, 30 miles. I don't know. You've got something that's traveling from halfway around the world and you expect it to go crystal clear every single time. That may not be the case every time. But what I can say is from my experience, as long as you're willing to reach out, communicate in a respectful manner, they seem to be open to helping. So. So do me a favor. Let me know what your experience with banggood.com has been like. Was it a great experience? Was it horrible? Are you neutral? I don't know, but a lot of people want to know. So it'd be great if we could all just kind of share information. And by the way, I'd like to go ahead and apologize for the editing errors. Um, I could have taken the time to do a better job, but I really wanted to hurry up and get this review out because I, I think there's a lot of people who need it right now. Drones are a big thing right now. And I imagine there are people who are like me, kind of confused. So I just want to share some of the facts.